do you hear that? That's the start of an adventure. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Seas Life channel. Buckle up for this next adventure, because I'm about to take you through the build out of an SUV camping conversion. This specifically is a Toyota 4Runner. As you can see, very unassuming. Five passenger vehicle, a couple things going on back there, but overall, looks like um, just a normal mode of transportation, right? Well, you're gonna see how I built out a modular sleeping platform so that I can camp in my car when I'm on trips for the weekend or for just overnight stay. It's been a really cool process because it provides a lot of safety as well as it's um, a cheap way to travel and I have to pay for hotels or Airbnbs. And so I'm excited to show y'all and here we go. So real quick, everyone, I did want to highlight that I'm sitting in the back seat. This by far was the most important feature about building my platform is that I wanted to be able to put up the back row for passengers and not have to take out the sleeping platform. I've noticed a lot of platforms are built to replace the back seat in a lot of ways. And so the cool thing about the one I built is that you can put this up and put it down without actually having to take out the platform itself. This is how it looks when the back seat is up. And I'll kind of go through a few things, but right here is actually the core of the sleeping platform. And this is really built out for one person. I have tried other designs that went the full length, but what it ended up doing was that it just took up too much space for me. So this is gonna be a really good build for someone who sleeps in here by themselves primarily. The way that I have it all built out, it all fits within the width of the car. None of it actually has to be bolted down. It doesn't move at all. So it's super simple, um, not a ton of work required other than actually the building of it itself. So coming over here to the side, I'm just gonna go ahead and open my seats. Very simple to do in this car, two-step process. And here we are on the driver's side, pulling that up, taking this down. So now that the whole back seat is down, you can see where the split is in the sleeping platform itself. So right here, I used a long piano hinge. So the width of this platform is actually just under 25 inches, so about two feet. So very comfortable for one person. And it's sitting on a two by eight. So I've got these two wooden dowels that I keep in the floor. And this is actually what is used to put on the other side of the sleeping platform as legs. So as you can see, I already put one leg on, but this is basically a wooden dowel with a uh, double-sided dowel screw with this side being flat and not pointed. And basically I use this almost like a, a bolt that mates to this female adapter that I drilled out a hole, a pilot hole, and then I tapped this in with a hammer. And basically this acts as a threaded bolt of a sort so that I can screw the dowel into and this just becomes a wooden leg wow really taking its time getting it screwed in there there we go okay so these become the support legs so that once I open it up um, this becomes a flat sleeping platform so now that I'm moved back over here I can go ahead and grab this piece and as you see it is now folded flat and so a super simple design with these legs and this hinge so that this entire sleeping platform can be easily folded to fit behind the rear seats this entire process takes me you know maybe two minutes at the most and as you can see here you basically have a a, a ready to go bed platform so that you can put your mattress of choice so actually stay tuned till the end because i am going to put the mattress in here that i use i do think it's really cool to see that What's really nice about this platform right here is this also gives you a storage space. I usually keep a folded up uh, table underneath here so that when I'm out camping, I can pull that out and put uh, all my gear on as well as my cooking setup. The one thing about sleeper platforms and smaller SUVs is the higher you go, the less headroom you have up here. So once the mattress is on, you know, there may only be two, two and a half feet of clearance. So not enough for you to actually sit up, which can you know be a little limiting in what you do 
And so the height that I went with was actually about eight inches. So this is a two by eight. And these are my end supports right here. And then I have a full two by eight where the piano hinge sits on top of over there. This is just three quarter inch piece of plywood, super strong. And then I ended up just carpeting the whole thing. What's really nice about the way I did it is I didn't use full two by eights all along the side because I really wanted to save weight. And then I didn't put a, a bottom on it because that really wasn't necessary. So this whole platform right here just comes in at 30 pounds, which I think is really important to note because some of the builds I've seen look like it adds a serious, serious amount of weight, which obviously puts more wear and tear on the shocks and the suspension. And then of course the gas mileage. So this really helps uh, save in that area, which I think is important. Um, and yeah, so moving over here, this is kind of similar, just some basic pieces of half inch plywood um, on top and then support on the bottom. And so I did kind of cut it out to mold to the sides of the car. So the nice thing about having the sleeping platform only on one side is that I'm able to utilize this tray as a desk. So I'm actually in a sitting position right now and I'm able to put my laptop or computer and actually make this a full on workspace. And so I think that's a very unique feature of this build as well. The nice thing about this build is that it gives me a lot of storage options, which is paramount when you're weekend camping because you end up just having a lot of gear. I've actually got most of my gear removed from in here right now. And if you have any questions about gear, I'll probably end up doing a video on it, but feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Um, I do have a spot. This is a shelf that I got off shelf.com that was perfectly already fabricated to be four feet wide. And so I just attached it to these side panels that I got online, um, which is really nice because it gives a lot of modular storage options. But storage is huge in any weekend camper. That's really the nice part about having a, a smaller platform is that it gives you storage options over here. The full length is nice for the width of sleeping, but for one person, this is perfect. And so I have storage options under here for my little uh, work desk. I have storage options under here where I have all these Tupperware containers. Um, and, and the other solution that I found for extra, extra storage for like a week long trip or more is I actually got a roof rack, um, just a little Amazon special. And I just custom mounted it with some brackets. And then I have some Plano cases that I got from Academy, 29 bucks. And so keeping it simple, never extravagant here. So this sleeping mattress is by far a game changer. And one of the coolest things I've ever found for car camping. It's a tri-fold mattress that I found on Amazon. I think I paid 69 for it. And it's not even a twin. It's actually 24, 25 inches wide and just over six feet long which is perfect for one person. So this is what it looks like when it's folded up. So it really just takes up like a two by two square in three pieces. Um, so it's not too bulky. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and lay it flat and you can see what it looks like. So here we go, laid out flat. And this is the perfect size for anyone, you know, around the six feet mark. I think if you're taller than that, it's gonna get a little cramped, but for myself, who's, you know, 5'10 on a good day, this is an absolute perfect setup. Again, it's 75 inches long. I kind of have to put up the front seat a little bit to allow it to sit on top of the back seats to give it a little extra room, but it works really nice. It's super comfortable. It's about a four inch thick foam mattress and I've had it for about two years and you know, it doesn't feel like it's sunk in. It feels like it's holding up really well. So I've been very, very pleased with this mattress setup. So I'll take you from the back now that you've seen it in this layout. We'll come over here one more time to the side, kind of get a feel of how, how this rests. And this is nice, even this, this height right here. It kind of acts like almost like a natural elevation for your head. So here we are in the back as if I was about to go to bed for the evening very comfortable very very comfortable actually over here i have this little mount for my tablet so that i can watch movies when i go to bed but yep this is it and as you can see there's not a ton of headroom you know i when i put my hand up it's only about a foot foot and a half above uh, my stomach my chest area so you definitely can't sit up but again that's why i have this little 
kind of almost like a a desk office setup. That's the way I like to consider it. Well, to everyone who's watching, thank you. I hope that you benefited from this and that you may be able to take what I've done here and retrofit it to your vehicle. All in all, everything cost me less than $200, including the materials and the mattress. So very budget friendly. And I'll eventually go through all the gear that I use in here because having good gear and well organized is definitely key to the success of a good you know, camping adventure in the back of any small vehicle. And so until next time, continue to seize life and adios.